uh, I want to do it in the um, letterbox format. I guess that's what it's called. So here we are. Let me attach this to the tripod. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me. This is Coach Vig, Sean Vig, with a Pilates core slasher workout. So a comprehensive. Let me take off my croc. A compre comprehensive Pilates workout today. Live workouts. Have it here. You can glance at that just for a moment if you can read my writing. Thanks for joining me. Remember, these live workouts come at you every Tuesday and Thursday, noon central time. I have Addie roaming around. That might have been a mistake. We'll see how this goes with her. She has a habit of pulling the camera down. But if it's live, it's going to be authentic. All right. Check in below. And uh, after the class, we'll do a little, little chat afterwards. Here we go. Okay, let's... Those of you who work out with me know Addie. There she is. Doesn't really have any regard for my camera or my being. And, oh, by the way, I had this sign made up, live workouts. All these live workouts are exported or uploaded onto my YouTube channel after we do them. So they're always available. And all the other videos I'm filming this summer, they go into Sean's Vault. That's seansvault.com. Check that out free for 14 days. And there we are. That's a picture of Addy. Okay, this Pilates workout. Great for anybody. Modify as needed. Um, I've been working on Pilates for Athletes, the book. My deadline for the rough draft is the end of next month. So I am in the middle of writing the exercises. So my mind is swimming. My body is celebrating it. I want to share some of it with you. So we've got about 10 different classic Pilates exercises here. No weights, no machines, only your body weight. All right? I guess that's about it right now. Uh, you signed in. And uh, Alicia in Ungaro, who is a Pilates instructor, she wrote this. It's one sentence. I wanted to read it to you. Then we're off to the races. It said, Pilates is a system of progressive destabilization to develop the core and body. So constant destabilization, which means we're always challenging ourselves, always adding a little bit more to the mix. Let's put this under here. <clears throat> All right. So let's begin with windshield wipers. Come on down. In Pilates, we breathe in the nose and out the mouth. So we warm, we warm the breath. I'm sorry. I always think Addie's going to get me. We warm the breath through the nose so it heats up the body for better movement, better fluidity. Back and forth. Take the arms over the head. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the side. I guess I don't have to speak so loud. I have my AirPods in. These are the white things in my ears. They're not earrings. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let's do it four more times. And use the best possible form. Great form, great flow, great precision, and great concentration. And we've lost the sun. Maybe it will pop out during the workout. All right, the Pilates 100, tabletop position. Reach the arms forward, palms down. Shoulders back and down. You can also take the legs out. Pump the arms up and down 100 times. Breathe in for five through the nose. Out for five through the mouth. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Last set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulders back. Hold it right here. Squeeze the abdominals. On your exhales, pull the abdominals in towards your spine. <sighs> Tuck the chin slightly, and we're going to move into the roll-up. The roll-up. Come on up. Seated position. We'll do six of these. This is an exercise I definitely need to practice more. And smooth it out. Where's my dog? Okay. She just wanders off into the yard. Exhale. Hinge forward. Tuck the chin. Now, let's start with a half roll back. We're going to rise up. Tuck the chin again. C-curve in the spine. Rounding about halfway down. This is called a half roll back. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Let's do that a couple times. Priming it. Getting some blood into the core. The abdominals. Lower back hips and glutes. The center of our strength. 
making sure it's always firing. Now stay with the half rollback or do the roll up. We're gonna do six of either one. Roll up is massaging the spine all the way down like a wheel. Inhale, lift, exhale, peel off the mat and up and over. Not bad. You can reach to the toes or down towards the heels. Five more. Smooth movement. Can't tell where it begins and where it ends. And over. Good stretch. Going to six. Go to six. Oh, I mean, son of a... As I always say, my counting is god-awful. Oh, so don't follow me. Do six. That's a hell of an instructor there. Yeah, don't follow me. And down. I'm going to finish up one more. One more big one here. Squeeze the abs. Lift and spilling up and over the toes this time. Oh, I cut my foot somehow. Reach, reach. Press the backs of the knees down. Rise up. Pull the arms back. And let's go into the big five. Classic Pilates ab exercises. Oh, she's all wrapped around. Single leg stretch. Pull the right knee in. Left leg out. Let's do 10 times. Inhale, switch. Exhale, pull. Get that stretch. Two. Three. I like that. Separation of the legs. Four. We got some sun. Five. Six. Head can be down to seven. Eight. Relentless flow. Nine. 10, right into single straight leg stretch, right leg up, 10 times, two pulses, pull, pull, stretch the leg, switch, two, three, stabilize against the movement, five, six, bask in the sun, seven, eight, nine, and 10, if you're just joining us in the live workout, welcome, warm up and jump in when you want, when you can. Double leg stretch, six times, legs together, arms to the sides. We're gonna inhale out, bring it back in and pull the knees into the chest. I said pull funny, let's do five more. I'm gonna circle the arms this time. Inhale out, come around and pull, two, three, going to six, four, mash it in the stomach, five, reach, Bring it in. One more time. Extend out. Hold for five breaths. A little extra credit. What's going on behind me? Oh, the lower back is imprinted. Abs are pulling in with the exhale. Effortless movement. Okay, bring it in. Crisscross 20 times. Right knee and left leg out. Lift the chest towards the right knee. Here we go. 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, how does that feel? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Remember, progressive destabilization. Bring the legs up, alternating leg drops. Inhale, lower, exhale, pull up. This is the modification of double straight leg stretch, which is usually number five in the big five. If you want to do that, it's lowering both the legs. You actually flex as you lower and then point. Bring them up. I'm going to leave that one out for me. You can place the hands under the hips too if you like. But either way, stabilize the center. Nothing moves but the legs. Ten more seconds. One. I'm going to add a little crunch here. Chest lift. Two. Five seconds. I'm going to finish off three more repetitions. Oh, my. Pull it in tight. Uh, those abdominals feeling, working every part of the abdominals with a progressive destabilization. Okay, seated position. I don't want to lose this expensive sign back here. Moving into the saw. I believe it was uh, last week we did some Pilates from my garage. It was raining. <clears throat> now we got some sun. Take your heels to the edges of the mat or wider. Shoulders are back and down. Imagine you're sitting up against a wall. You're stacking the spine. We're going to do 10 repetitions of the saw. Arms out. You're going to pulse. And two pulses. <sighs> pinky finger, pinky toe. Inhale, center. Lift, lift, lift. And pulse. There's Addy. Pulse, pulse. 
<laughs> She's sleeping in the sun. Isn't that wonderful? Here we are. Five more times. Go to 10. Look to the back arm. You have control and precision over every inch of that movement. Oh, yes. Big slice and then a lift. Okay. Up, going into boat or boat twist. Half boat is a staple of yoga. I find it to be a staple of any kind of workout for balance and course training and core stability. There's ants and spiders everywhere. Okay, here we are. Here's half boat. You can also place the feet down, shoulders back. Stay here or add the boat twist. We're going to do 10. What that is, is an exhale, twist, arms down, inhale, center. Two, three, inhale, exhale. Four, in the nose, out the mouth. Five, good. Six, seven, there we go. Eight, smooth movements. Nine and 10, back to half boat. Okay, going into single and double leg kicks. We're moving right along as they said in the Muppet movie. Okay, that is having fun. Maybe you can see here. Single leg kicks, forearms down, shoulders back, lifting tall through the chest. 10 kicks, one leg at a time, two kicks, point flex, point flex down. Three, four, five, six. Welcome. If you're just joining us, welcome to the live workout. This video will also save to the channel. And once more, very nice. Double leg kick. I mean, uh, switch the cap. I want the bill of the cap to keep slamming into the mat. Bring your cheek down, hands to the lower back. Six of these. Kick the legs at the same time. Kick, kick, lift with the inhale. Pull up a little higher. Get that beautiful curve in the spine. Other side. <sighs> lift, stretch the shoulders away from the ears. Four more. <sighs> Down. <sighs> I hope we're still recording. Sometimes I don't know until we're done here. <sighs> but thanks for sticking with me. Training with me live on the channel all summer long, every Tuesday and Thursday, noon central time. Extra breath here. Lift. Okay. Stretch, 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 stretch. stretch. And, oh, I wrote down swim, of course. Arms forward. Let's do 12. Opposite arm, opposite leg. There's gravel on my face and dog hair. <laughs> uh, inhale, lift. Exhale down. One, 12. 12, right? Yes. Two, three, build that long, lean body. Five, six, seven, in the nose, out the mouth. Nine, 10, 11, 12, lift everything up, Superman, five breaths. Sculpt the whole back of your body, get a flexible spine. And I'm on my stomach. I'm not on the junk. I'm on my stomach. It's much better, believe me. All right. Child's pose. Hi, Eddie. And we're going to finish with the snake. Snake, 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 snake. She is lurking. So press it back. I Okay. I don't want to present myself to her. Here's child's pose. Sway it side to side. You can leave the snake out. Snake is, uh, maybe we'll call it an extra credit. A little extra credit assignment here. This is a classic one. Snake will be in, I think it's in the book, Pilates for Athletes. I don't have the manuscript in front of me or the outline. Here we go. We're going to do three on each side. It's a nice combo of... Pilates with, you'll see elements of my power yoga in there, the Sean Vig power yoga. Place the hands down, right hand slightly behind the left. And we're going to inhale, rise up, pike. Where's all this stuff come from? Pike the tailbone up, then drop down. Feel that stretch in the spine, that articulation, pike back up. Lift, 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 and then down. Two more times. Inhale. 
Mm, exhale. Inhale. Lift, lift, lift. And then gently, gently come back to the ground. One more time. Stretch that spine. Eat your shirt. Spinal articulation. Articulate that spine fully all the time. Come down. Anybody here break dance? Check this out. <laughs> I could moonwalk. That's about it. Uh, Backspin needs work. Or, yes. So left hand slide behind the right. Stack the legs here. We're going to rise up. Down. Lift. And gently come down. Two more times. Drop. Shoulders back and down. You see that in our vinyasa flows, the hovers and the down dogs. One more time. Lift. Drop. Pike. Pull those abs in. Belly button to the spine. And bring it down. All right, my friends. Whew. There we are. Let's come to a cross-legged position or seated. Ah, shake it out. Shake out the arms. This is live workout. Sean Veek Fitness YouTube channel. Let's take the arms up and sway to the side. Long stretch. Hey, let me know in the comments... I like, I'm in kind of an amateur film historian. Which movie, which movie have you watched more than any other movie? Write that below in addition to checking in. Movies inspire me so much. You know that because I quote them a lot. It's like music to me, certain movies, not all movies, but uh, give me a great movie and the, the dialogue, the story is like a symphony. So which movie have you seen more? than any other. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. Pull it back. Open the chest. Do that once more. By the way, I'm in my driveway. I'm not on the deck today. Wanted to shake it up. So I hope the signal is strong out here. But, you know, we're learning as we go, right? Just me, you, camera, tripod, Matt, Addy, and uh, make some whole lot of fitness magic. All right. Fantastic work, my friends. That is the live workout for today. Remember, every Tuesday and Thursday, noon central time, coming at you with these workouts. And once again, let me show you this expensive sign I made. But it says that on there, too, um, for some of my shorter workouts, I post a lot of them, short workouts. Um, check me out on Instagram at Sean Vig Fitness. And all my pre-recorded workouts, because I'm recording every day, they are all going into my online training program, which is Sean's Vault. That's seansvault.com. You can try that out free for 14 days and cancel anytime. We get some big, big army ants here. All right, let me come over for just a moment. I'm going to flip the camera around. Should we go over by Addy? Wait, what's going on here? Okay, there we go. Uh, and you have any uh, questions or anything for me, put them, type them in or type them in. Anytime, anytime. I've been definitely heading back to the, uh, come here, Addies. Let's see if we can get Addies in here. Heading back to my computer when I can, when I'm not watching the Daner, my little, actually, you know, my son will be four months old this Thursday at 8 a.m. <laughs> Let's go around. Yeah, we can get Addy in here too. I actually brought my laptop. My best friend, Stefan, said, you know, you can look up the comments online. Addie, come here. Hey, how did she get off her line? Oh, it's live. Nothing I can do about it. Addie, come here. <laughs> Shoot. She, I got to get close to the camera. <laughs> All right. But, um, yeah, check out Instagram, and uh, I'll keep you posted on the book that I'm working on. All right. Here we are. That was my very first Pilates session. Garen, that sounds English. Very first, Garen. Well, I'm glad to uh, be your first, be your first for Pilates. Uh, it, still, I think the biggest mystery about Pilates is how do you pronounce it? Pilates, Pilates, Pontius Pilot. I think the same person who created this excellent workout system was the same one from the New Testament, from the Roman Empire. Uh, so... 
I'm glad to help. Remember, Pilates is a, um, it's very popular, but I know there's still some stigmatism. Stigmatism? Is that the right word? There's still some um, mystery around it. And that's why with this Pilates for Athletes book, I'm very excited because uh, it's a secret weapon for, for athletes. Definitely the benefits of Pilates, a lot of which you felt probably right now. Hey, which movie have you seen more than any other movie? Write it down below. I want to sign on here to YouTube and see if I can see any comments. If not, I'll just see you on Thursday. Uh, did I get everything out here? Um, as I said, I'm only doing live workouts on this channel this summer, with the exception maybe of collaborations. I have some people I'm collaborating with, so we'll put that there. Any requests for workouts you have, put them below. I have a question about updog. Do you keep your legs on the ground or above? Your legs for up? Oh, updog. Oh, that's a good, Wendy, up dog can be performed many different ways. You can keep your knees down if you want. You can, you can have forearms down. You can do a cobra with your shoulders back and keeping your knees down. Or when I do the full up dog, let me go back here. Let me just demonstrate. Oh, that's uncomfortable. So you could do it from here, knees down, but make sure the shoulders are back and you're squeezing your glutes. Or what I like to do, I like to lift my knees off the mat. That takes a, that's a lot more. You could work your way up to that, but definitely you can keep your knees down if you like. You always want to protect the back. Uh, what, oh, I, I, yeah, these comments. Let me see if I can sign on here. Oh, here we are. Look at this. Look at this technology. In the 80s, I would have done this on the Commodore 64. Oh, someone gave it a thumbs down. What a douche. All right, here we go. Um, oh, good. There's comments in here. Don't be gentle. <laughs> good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, slashing core. Now, is that title a little too much? Slashing the core? I tell you, I can, I can make up workouts all day, all night to film, to teach, to write about, but sometimes I agonize the most. And I know there's other people that do this too, that do online videos, the title. You want the title to be catchy, but also to tell you what it is. Uh, sometimes the title just throws me off. So I now I don't think too much about it. I just toss it in there. Anka Klein. Hel Spiders. Uh, Alo aus Kuhn. Oh, I know Cologne. I, I did my Berlitz study in Cologne near the um, big Kirche, near the big church, near Mönchengladbach. Because I, I lived in Mönchengladbach for a little while. That's actually where Joseph Pilati is from. My husband loves It's a Wob. These are the funniest come. <laughs> How long was that? I think I keep missing the beginning, even though it shows live at 10 my time. I'm not sure how long it was. Uh, it was probably about 15 minutes. We'll work it up to some longer ones. Uh, quite good. I'm a bit late for the workout. It doesn't matter. Anka. It doesn't matter. Mach nicht. Because I'm going to upload this to my channel. But I know it is fun. It's very fun for me to know that we're doing it live together. Because look, where, where am I? Somewhere out in the mountains. I got a comment the other day on a video. A guy said, why do you live in the mountains? I, I don't know what that meant. <laughs> why do you live in the mountains? Why do you drink tea? Why do I get up on this side of the bed, not that side? These are questions we got to address. I can look at that. There's a whole lot of Sean going on here. Addy, come here. Addy, come here. You want a treat? Does anyone want to see Addy? Come here. Come here. Make sure, oh, hey, like this video. If this workout helped, give it a like and, and oh, come here and subscribe. <laughs> Let's see the real reason that we're all here. There she is. Uh, even when I do other workouts and can follow them better using your, oh, thanks, Ida. That's good. You don't lose count today, Sean. Okay, good. Thanks, Neil. Uh, sometimes it's hard to explain. I, I've taught a lot of classes a lot and filmed a lot. And the way my mind works in these workouts, uh, uh, sometimes it's nice when I do a video to just film it. And then I do a voiceover. That actually helps me. It's a live workout. Can't beat that, people. That's right. Evangeline Rodriguez. Thanks, Evangeline. Addy, thank uh Oh. Oh, we have it here. Don't forget to comment below which movie have you watched more than any other. How's the baby doing? Hi, Herb. Uh, Dane's well. I'd like to get him in. Oh, they're Eddie. I can't. 
she's off her line. I got to keep her over here. She is shedding so much too because of um, because of uh, the warm weather. So I'm doing this a lot. Do you do this with your dog? Her fur is perpetually on my mouth and my lips. So oh, that's a little bit behind. Oh, that's funny. Um, Dane's doing well. As I said, he'll be, he's four months old this Thursday, four months old. He's with our, our nanny Mandy right now. She comes for a few hours a day, which is great because I, I can do my filming and do writing. And then I can focus on Dane for a few hours too, before my wife gets home. So he's starting to sleep in his crib upstairs. Actually, his room is up there. He can't see it. But doing about three or four hours a night in the crib because he's been in the bedroom with us. So I'm up in the loft with him doing my work. And when he fusses, sometimes I go in there. I guess you all know, all you fathers know that uh, and parents know there's different kinds of cries. He has many different kinds of cries. Some are fake. Some are really tired ones. So he's going to pass out. Some are legitimate. Some are hungry. If it's a hungry cry, then you better get your, your ass in there and get him to some food, either the bottle or the nipple or the nipple. So I'm up there with him. I'm working. He cries. I stand outside the door. If he keeps crying, I go in and give him the little pacifier and rub his little head. It's so cute because he usually passes out within about 10 or 20 seconds. So he's doing very well. He's healthy. Uh, he's got big blue eyes. He has kind of my hair color, a sandy blonde. He looks a lot like his dad. He looks a lot like his grandpa, too, my dad. What's up, Sean? Sorry, I just got to sign on. Oh, that's Monica. Monica. Well, Monica, you can do it um, once it uploads to the channel also. But uh, we, we do a post-class chat a lot. People keep firing in these fun questions. If you have any questions, let me know. I like to spend about 10 minutes doing this. And... <clears throat> You can always leave them later on, too. But a, a question I have for everybody is, which movie have you watched more than any other movie? For me, I think someone wrote it down here. I think it's the original Star Wars, Episode Four. That's the first movie I saw in the theater with my dad in 1977. But, how, you know, how does that work? Because you're saying, Sean, you're only 26 years old. How did you see that in 77? Magic. Hey, it's raining. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it snowed. We had snow in Colorado a few days ago. And we had hail all over the yard. The movie Friday is my fave. Now, do you say herb or herb? I remember what Eddie Izzard said about the English and the Americans, how they both mispronounce herb differently. All right. Star Wars. Okay. I got to. Addie's fussing. Hey, wait. Stay right there. I'm going to put her on her line. Come here, Addie. <laughs> Luckily, with my AirPods in, you can hear me all. Now, how did. Oh, how did. She's all around. Let's just put her in the house. Come here, sweeties. Well, and then we'll finish it up. So any questions you have for me, think of them for a second. I'm going to put Addie in the garage or in the house. Come here, sweeties. There you go. Go get yourself something to eat. I don't know how she got off her line. I'll have to investigate her um, collar and stuff. But any, uh, what request? What about Thursday? I haven't thought about Thursday class yet. Uh, if you have requests for that. Put those below and i was thinking about doing maybe over the summer a five or seven day challenge so we do a different one monday through sunday uh next week i'm traveling to wisconsin so you're gonna see a little change in scenery maybe i'll film from my mom's yard and while in wisconsin i'm teaching a guest class at ohana yoga studio this is west salem wisconsin where i went to school and i am probably doing another class at Fort McCoy, the army installation. I've done a few there and that's always, that's always a lot of fun. This is a little bit behind. All right. Back to the future. Oh God, I love that movie. I saw that movie in the drive-in in California with my dad and my friend Chris and my dad, he wanted to leave um, after about the first 15 minutes because he couldn't stand the dad. The dad was such a wimp. And my dad really wanted to leave. And I think I said, and I was about 10 at the time, I said, Dad, wait, I think they're setting it up that he's going to really come out of his shell later. And I was right. Hey, Lisa, need five minutes to be ready. Okay, John. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Wonderful life. How long was that? Um, thank you. You're welcome. Star Wars or Terminator Goonies. Oh, Richie, Meatballs. I just watched Meatballs. My sister used to watch that all the time. Let's say it was the moonlight. One of her best friends is an extra in there because it was filmed in Canada. 
And I, I worked at the Big Fork Summer Playhouse a couple seasons, and I directed there, too. That's in Montana. And Russ Bannum, is that his name? He played Crockett in Meatballs, and he directed there. But I missed it when he directed. I think he was the year before. I was like, I'm looking at my arm. Like, look at that arm. It looks all right. So that's my, <laughs> that's my relationship with Meatballs. That was Bill Murray's first movie. He was 29. All right. Well, I guess I'll wrap it up here. Hey, like this video. That always helps. It helps with search engines. It helps with everything. Because I, I do social media, but I deleted all of it from my phone pretty much. So I, I'm not on it very often. I post remotely. How about yin on Thursday? Ida, that's a good idea. I think yin is always welcome. That's a long, deep stretch. I'll look into that. Maybe I'll combine it with something. Maybe we'll do some cardio and then yin at the end. Do some spinning. We'll push my wheelbarrow around for a while and do that. Adjust the shirt. All right, I'm going to get myself a snack. Uh, bookmark it. Get ready for Thursday, noon central time. What I'll do on Thursday is I'll come out here a little earlier because there's always something that pops up. I've only done about four of these so far, and I really enjoy them. My, my theater background loves this stuff. It's very spontaneous. Theater and fitness together. But I'll get out here a little earlier and go live because I keep doing things and then like it's not working. I lose a connection or it won't turn in widescreen. It's like that. So it goes like that. So I'll get out here earlier. You can get ready. It's like a normal class. You come in, lay your mat down, a little banter. We'll put on some fine young cannibals to listen to and we can ease into the workout. How's that sound? Sound good? All right, which movie have you watched more than any other? Comment below. Check me out on Instagram at Sean Deke Fitness for all these short workouts. And all the videos I'm filming this summer are going into Sean's Vault at seansvault.com. Oh, and I just uploaded a new podcast episode. I am celebrating 10 years, 10 years of doing, I'm probably speaking too loud. I have these 10 years of doing workout videos. I started in June of 2009. And I did a podcast with my friend Stefan where we reminisced about 10 years and all the exciting things that we've been doing. Woo! And how much we love it more than, how much I love it more than ever now. I really do. A few times I thought about stopping and, nah, I, I do a lot of other things, but this is, this is right here. 10 years, probably over 8,000 videos, six or 7,000 live classes, 10 books. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff. Those are just lists. Those don't really matter. What really matters is how, what, what do I, what's going on right now? Hi, right, my friends. See you Thursday, noon central time. I'll uh, work my hardest to get out here a little earlier so we could set up together. And uh, thanks for training with me. I mean, this is really fun. I want to do this all summer, probably through August, doing the live, work. oh, where, there I go, doing the live workouts. And we'll just keep building up that library, changing up the workouts every single day, always changing it up disrupting our bodies, challenging ourselves so we never get bored. Our mind and body are always electrified by our movements. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you Thursday. Come on.